Baramati region is a rain-fed area with only 350 to 400 mm annual rainfall with extinct water availability including drinking water which was causing migrations of farmers and laborers to urban areas for their livelihoods. This problem is majorly found in the villages like Jargao Kade Patar, Jargao Supe and Karati. These villages were included primarily into the Nikara project and were converted into partly irrigated land. This helped to stop migration and increase the productivity. Krishi Vigyan Kendra Baramati has done a research that how farmers can increase their farming in the dry land area. The research is an applied research which is carried out with the involvement of the farmers with trials, experiments and various technologies which can be adopted by organizing such training programs. The very first work done after the commencement of this project by KVK Baramati was to strengthen the water source. Hence the streams were first deepened and the silt in the fallow land was used so that an extra 35 acre can come under cultivation. The check dam was built so that every drop of rain that fell in the vicinity of this village should be saved and stored in. Along with this, six streams have been deepened in this area which has increased cultivable area from 20-30 hectares to 256 hectares. Desilting of streams increased the water level of the wells by 7 to 12 feet. Such initiatives undertaken by KVK motivated many small organizations and various NGOs to carry out similar work in 34 such villages. After about 8 km of deepening of the streams, we found that groundwater level of wells had increased. And so, we were able to cultivate new crops and which resulted into the good income. To make efficient use of available water, KVK provided sprinklers and drip irrigation systems in selected villages. To spread the importance of water conservation and to make farmers adopt the in situ moisture conservation practices, that is compartment bunding, KVK organized 202 farmers' campaigns for the same which resulted in cultivation of crops like rabi sorghum in this area. Now, as a result, sorghum cultivation area is 8,527 acres using the same technological method. In addition, the land was leveled using laser technology so as to harvest rainwater in the field itself. A farm pond project was implemented in village involved in the project by KVK, getting influenced the neighboring villages also followed the same. Today, there are 22 farm ponds in this area and in addition, farmers have adopted fish farming to increase their income. After the guidance and the training from Krishi Vigyan Kendra about fish farming business, we released about four to 5,000 fingerlings in the farm pond, from which we yielded three and a half tons of fish production in just about seven to eight months and earn around 95,000 rupees from it. Thus, it could retrieve nearly about 50% of farm pond paper cost. Simultaneously, water from the pond was used for farming by drip irrigation, which benefited to cultivate the fruits and vegetables. Krishi Vigyan Kendra tried to increase the agricultural yield of the village by using different methods, including sowing the crop by demonstrating the ridges and furrows method, broadbed furrows method, introducing short duration and drought prone varieties. In case of sorghum, sowing was done using varieties which suited the respective soil type, which obviously increased the production of sorghum. KVK focused on selection of crop that can be grown in drought situation. To take an example of rabi sorghum, Hule Anuradha variety of rabi sorghum was adopted by farmers very well, and a variety of red gram that is BDN 711 has also been adopted very well. As our village is dry land rainfed farming area, it was selected for Nikra project. According to guidelines from KVK to increase yield, we used varieties as per soil type like rainfed or irrigated or saline soil. Farmers now use drip irrigation to cultivate the onion. 
the Krishi Vigyan Kendra has encouraged the adoption of new crops like maize under the production which has helped a lot to overcome the fodder problem. The livestock or animal husbandry is the main source of income in these areas. So we started focusing on that as the unavailability of fodder in these drought prone villages is high. Farmers started implementing the silage making technology from maize and they have saturated this technique. The chairman Dr. M. C. Vasne of Zonal Monitoring Committee with entire committee visited Nikra village. They felt very happy. I have never seen such an example of silage making before. He appreciated. The farmers involved in Nikra project were trained to use modern technology in protective farming, that is, shed net farming. Now, capsicum cultivation in protected shed net has increased to 4 acres in this village. Around 20 to 25 lakh rupees are earned every year and this year is fourth consecutive year. Farmers started cultivating crops like watermelon, muskmelon and marigold using plastic mulching. Stepping ahead, KVK taught farmers to practice agricultural allied businesses in a modern way. In case of dairy business, silage project was implemented in 10 farmers' dairy farm. Initially, the pit method, then the tank method, as well as the silage bag method can be used, was shown practically. Now, there are about 450 to 500 silage units in these villages, and it has spread now in about 27 nearby villages. There is no need to leave the village for silage now. After feeding the silage to cows, the milk production has increased with good fats, resulting in good market value too. The use of loose housing dairy farming technology has reduced the cost of labor and cattle diseases in dairy industry. Timely vaccination has made it possible to eradicate diseases like theliorisis. Before existence of Nikra project, the milk production of this village was just 1,500 liters per day and now it has reached to 10,000 liters per day. Increase in dairy business supported the cow dung to be utilized for biogas units. Initially, KVK demonstrated six biogas units and now after getting influence from the same, farmers now own 22 units of biogas in these villages. Under the Nikra project for backyard poultry farming, 10 chicks of one Raja poultry breed were distributed to 100 farm women, which resulted in more than 50% increase of income by helping women to be self-reliant. We bought Vanraja chicks from Krishivigyan Kendra and now that we have taken care of them, even though they are less than 3 months, but still they are ready to lay eggs. If you consider local breed, it normally lays around 60 eggs per year, but this Vanraja breed lays an average of 180 eggs annually. To overcome the forest scarcity and the goat trading, Leafier Subhabul was given so the goat rearing becomes profitable. Under the NECRA project, to promote mechanization in agriculture, KVK established a tool bank or can say a customized farm implements, hiring units for farmers of these villages. These farmers were provided 30 different types of tools which benefited 350 farmers and the tools were used on 600 to 700 acres of land. Getting inspired by this, two young men from these villages started customized farm implements hiring unit business. Farmers who are progressive farmers and working as an entrepreneur have become self-reliant and self-independent. One of these farmers has adopted silage making as an enterprise. So in this way, those who are focusing on the objectives of our esteemed Prime Minister, that is doubling farmers' income, have awakened the inspiration in our farmers. How do we conserve natural resources, conserve water, conserve soil and how to do crop diversification, how to adopt protected cultivation like pomegranate. Do protected cultivation, if you do vegetable cultivation, then your income can be increased. It can't be done without soil and water conservation. Such inspiration, such feeling has been awakened in farmers. Time to time, guidance through Nekra project has helped the farmers to start producing seeds for fodder crops like sorghum seed, marvel, 
Lucen Grass, which resulted in growing numbers of farmer producer organizations in the villages. In order to get a proper market for the goods produced by the farmers, program like Dhanyamotsav, that is a fruit grain festival, is organized by Krishi Vigyan Kendra, along with a carnival known as Bhimthadi Zatra and Krishik. Agri Expo has given a fair market to the farmers every year. Moving further, farmers now have started value addition and producing processed foods. Nine years of tireless efforts of Krishi Vigyan Kendra and search for innovation by farmers. These villages have adopted integrated farming, crop rotation, adoption of new crops, horticulture farming, modern dairy business, goat rearing, poultry rearing. The bungalow which you can see behind me is constructed entirely from my farm earnings. This brilliant project has been done by Krishvigyan Kendra Baramati in collaboration with ICAR is very commendable and such project needs to be adopted and implemented by various villages for sure. Now, the farmers of these villages are earning an annual profit of rupees 2 lakhs and the Krishi Vigyan Kendra has succeeded in controlling the migration of farmers. All this has been achieved only due to the Nikara project.